Carlsbad Caverns National Park. The state of New Mexico is fittingly described as the land of enchantment. And the home of Carlsbad Caverns National Park. High in southeastern New Mexico, within the Guadalupe Mountains, are 46,000 acres of wilderness. Here, on an arid plateau, water, seeping and trickling drop by drop, has over eons created lavish formations in limestone caves. Caves formed by sulfuric acid dissolving the rock deep underground. A cave of strange, often bizarre beauty. Carlsbad Caverns. Around the end of the 19th century, the cave was still unknown to white settlers. Then one day, a lone 16-year-old cowboy, Jim White by name, saw a huge mass of bats rising from the desert hills. He assumed rightly they'd come from a cave. Any hole in the ground which could house such a gigantic army of bats, he commented later, must be a whale of a big cave. Jim went to see for himself. Lowering himself on a homemade ladder, he began exploring. And he kept on exploring for years to come. When he told the local folk what he discovered, they refused to believe him. In time, curious visitors started coming. Jim lowered those first tourists down into the cave in a big guano bucket. Today, a modern elevator accommodates visitors, taking them 750 feet down to the cave floor. This is what Jim White named the Big Room a limestone chamber of extraordinary proportions. It could hold six football fields. Fantasy shapes and forms emerge from darkness. Stalagmites rising from the floor like petrified fingers. Stalagmites from the shadowy ceiling, 250 feet up, biting down like gigantic dragon's teeth. These have been created by eons of slowly dripping water. Each drop laced with calcium carbonate it can take thousands of years to add just one inch. Jim White gave many of the cavern's features the names we call them by today. Temple of the Sun. Painted Grotto. Chinese Theater. Rock of Ages. It is with a sense of awe that visitors explore the chambers today. As Jim discovered, parts of the cave are dense with bats. Each summer evening, several hundred thousand of them take flight through the cave's mouth and forage for food, eating their weight in insects every night.
The park has three good hiking trails, affording the visitor ample opportunity to sightsee the surrounding desert. Today, the work initiated by Jim White and his homemade ladder is being carried out by geologists who are slowly penetrating the ever-increasing depths of this remarkable cave. Beyond what has been explored, one can imagine what vast caverns of unknown character, of magic, and mystery lie beyond. 